Hello everybody, eu sou Adir Ferreira e hoje nós temos um vídeo especial aqui com meu amigo, meu querido amigo Chad Fishwick. Dá um tchauzinho pra galera, Chad. Uh, and this video is gonna be in English, alright? Oizinho, tchauzinho, oizinho, whatever. Yeah, oh, no, screw it. Okay, yeah, alright. So we're here in Belo Horizonte, the beautiful BH, and I summoned up Chad to be here with us today because I want him to teach you guys uh, some expressions in Australian English. Why? Because Chad is Australian. He's related to Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban. He didn't tell that, did he? Yeah, so he is related to them. So I'm going to hand the microphone over to Chad and, and he's going to teach you some expressions. Uh, you will be able to download the PDF of these expressions and some more stuff in the description below. Ok? Você pode fazer o download do PDF depois aí na descrição. Tá joia? Chad, over to you. Okay, thank you very much. Well, uh, Australian expressions. Let me try to remember how to speak like an Australian. Uh, one thing that I know is very different in Australian English would be the way we say hello. Often we say, how are you going? Instead of how are you doing, I guess. In American English, I say that a lot. But uh, in Australia, we say, hey, how are you going? And it's kind of, you know, I guess with Australian English, you have to get used to the, 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 the tone of it, the intonation. It's very different. We, we speak very... A lot of people have this nasal sound as well, and things get cut really, really, really closely. Like, how are you going? Hey, how you going? Hey, how you going? How you going? You want to give it a go? Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, how you going? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was good. <laughs> Thought you were Australian there. Yeah. And maybe if you wanted to extend on that, you could say, how are you going, mate? The word mate yeah. is used a lot. You know, like my friend, my mate. American English, they say man a lot. So extending on that, how you going, mate? How you going, mate? Yep. How you going, mate? <laughs> cool. That's one thing. Uh, so mate is used a lot, I guess. Also in Australian English, would often say um, the word reckon, as in what do you think? What do you reckon? Like when asking for advice. Um, hey, Ajia, what do you reckon of this hotel? I like it a lot. You could say I reckon it's pretty damn good. So reckon. What do you reckon about the hotel? Um, and I guess lastly, one more. Yeah. Um, okay. How about um, a, a common thing that we say in Australia? It's a it's a colloquial expression. Would be, she will be all right. And this is like a, this is a very uh, a cultural thing where where if someone has a problem, and you want to kind of make them feel better, it's often said, oh, man, she'll be all right. She'll be all right. Everything's gonna be okay. Like maybe sometimes if you were to have an accident and hurt yourself, and you'd be like, oh, are you okay? You're like, ah, she'll be all right. It's kind of like a, um, everything, will right. everything will be fine. Everything's going to be okay. She will be all right. Said quite quickly, she'll be all right. Ok, cool, ok. Gente, a gente tá no hotel aqui e, e o povo tá chegando, a gente tem que sair daqui agora. Então, eu vou fazer uma série de perguntas que é do programa Inside Actor Studio. Então, são perguntas que o Chad vai, vai responder in English, ok? Uh, oh, yes, uh, oh, that's the way to go. Ok, so, uh, he'll be asking the questions and answering the, the questions, ok? So, uh, I'll be asking and answering? And answering, ok. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm asking myself the question. Yes. Ok. Um, first question is, what is your favorite word? Uh, my favorite word is mate. Okay, okay mate. Um, what is your least favorite word? Uh, my least favorite word is, um, shit, uh, d death. Death. <laughs> or die. When so the word die comes up, it's generally bad news. Um, what turns you on? Um, ooh, it turns me on. Um, maybe, um, uh, um, nice legs, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a legs man. Um, what turns you off? Um, maybe a, a bad breath? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what sound or noise do you love? I love the sound of, um, food cooking. Does that work? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Um, what sound or noise do you hate? I hate the sound of, um, oh, I can actually, oh no, I can't imitate the sound. You know when you have a, a knife like scratching on a plate? That sound is horrible. Um, what is your favorite curse word? My favorite curse word is, I probably just said it, shit. I say that all the time. Does that classify as a curse word? 
Yeah, it's yeah. a bad word, right? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. I should probably stop saying that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what profession other than your own would you like to attempt? I would like to, um, I like cooking. I would like to be a chef. Okay. Obviously, I'm not very good, but I'd like, to, I'd, I'd like to practice more and become a professional for sure. Uh, if heaven exists, what would, be, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? That's pretty deep. Um, I don't know. If heaven exists, that's, a, that's already a big assumption. So um, I would like him to say, Chad, help yourself to the minibar. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you, thank you, Chad, for being with us today. Uh, eu vou estar tá fazendo mais vídeos assim, tá com vocês, que eu, uh, né, com o pessoal aqui. E um abraço para vocês. Se vocês gostarem, dá um joinha que ajuda na nossa, nossa divulgação. É isso. E tem todos os links aí para o site do Chad, para as perguntas também, para os palavrões que ele falou, né? né? Criança não pode ver esse vídeo, né, gente? Então, muito obrigado e a gente se vê em breve. See you next time.